Hi, I'm Libby. Welcome to my Grocery X Learn English podcast. Today we gonna talk about the impact of overfishing on ocean ecosystems. I introduction. A definition of overfishing: the act of catching too many fish from the ocean, causing a decline in population and harm to the ecosystem. B importance of ocean ecosystems. The ocean is home to a diverse array of species and ecosystems that play a crucial role in the functioning of the planet. C. Purpose of the blog to examine the impact of overfishing on ocean ecosystems and its consequences, and explore efforts to mitigate and conserve the ocean's resources. 2. Causes of overfishing. A. Technological advances in fishing. The development of advanced fishing technologies has increased fishing capacity. Leading to overfishing. B. Increase in global demand for seafood. The growing demand for seafood worldwide is driving overfishing in many areas. C. Unsustainable fishing practices. The use of fishing methods that are not sustainable, such as bottom trawling and long lining, are major contributors to overfishing. D. Lack of effective management and regulation. The lack of adequate management and regulation has allowed overfishing to continue. Despite its harmful effects on the ocean, three, the effects of overfishing on ocean ecosystems. A, decline in fish populations. Overfishing results in a decline in fish populations, causing imbalances in the ecosystem. B, disruptions in the food chain. Overfishing disrupts the food chain by removing key species and altering the balance of the ecosystem. C. Changes in biodiversity. Overfishing decreases biodiversity in the ocean, reducing the number of species and altering the balance of the ecosystem. D. Effects on marine habitats and species. Overfishing has a range of negative impacts on marine habitats and species, including coral reefs, seagrass beds, and sea turtles. Four consequences of overfishing. A. Economic impacts on fishing communities. Overfishing can have devastating effects on fishing communities, reducing their livelihoods and causing economic hardship. B. Effects on global seafood supply and trade. Overfishing can reduce the global seafood supply, affecting seafood trade and prices. C. Effects on marine dependent industries. Overfishing also has consequences for marine dependent industries, such as tourism and recreation. D. Ecological consequences. Overfishing can cause long-term ecological consequences, including the loss of species and habitat, and changes to the ocean's food chain and ecosystems. V. Mitigation and conservation efforts. A. Sustainable fishing practices. Adopting sustainable fishing practices is crucial in reducing overfishing and conserving ocean ecosystems. B. Marine protected areas. Designating marine protected areas is an effective tool in conserving ocean ecosystems and species. C. Fisheries management and regulations. Implementing effective fisheries management and regulations is essential in controlling overfishing and conserving ocean resources. D. Consumer awareness and education. Raising public awareness about the impact of overfishing and the importance of consuming sustainably sourced seafood is critical in reducing the demand for overfished species. Six. Conclusion. A. Summary of key points. Overfishing is a serious problem that is having significant impacts on ocean ecosystems and their resources. B. Call to action. It is crucial that we take action to mitigate and conserve ocean resources. Through sustainable fishing practices, effective management and regulation, and public awareness and education, C. Future research directions. Further research is needed to understand the impacts of overfishing on ocean ecosystems and to develop effective strategies for their conservation. Seven references. A. List of cited sources. In this section, you should provide a list of all the sources you use to gather information for your blog. The list should be formatted in accordance with a specific style guide, such as MLA or APA. Make sure to include all relevant details, such as the author, title, publication date, and publisher. B. Additional resources for further reading. 
In this section, you can provide links to other articles, reports, or research studies that readers may find useful if they want to learn more about the impact of overfishing on ocean ecosystems. These resources should be credible and include scientific journals, government reports, and non-profit organizations. This will provide readers with a comprehensive understanding of the issue and allow them to further explore and educate themselves on the topic. Thank you for listening to Grocery X Learn English Podcast. If there's a topic you'd like me to talk about in a Furute episode, just send an email to info at grocery-x.com and see you next time. Please like share and subscribe my channel.